All right, Tony and Bubble Man here. We are over the grill for the last few days. It was pretty awesome, dude. Yeah, it was. So uh, yeah, we're uh, we've hooked up with the Nomads. We're just uh, doing a little car rearranging. Evie's over there. Um, Bird Eyes in the Mercedes here, just moving. We're gonna follow them to Kingston as. The show was uh, good last night, huh? Dude, they they played killer. They actually. played killer. There was a couple moments where uh, there was like some celebrity action going on. There, some old schoolers. There really them. was, yeah, totally. After the Nomads, uh, Bongo Herman came out. He invited up uh, um, Lee Scratch Perry, which was awesome. Really good photo shoot they did with the Nomads and, and Lee. And then Andrew Tosh came up afterwards. Yeah. Man, like man, he, was, he was killing it too. Like he really grew up and kind of became very Peter esque. I was yeah. uh, impressed with the music and whatnot. So we're uh, we're gonna have a little adventure with the Nomads, and we'll bring you we're guys along. Actually going yeah, to man. For the uh... oh yeah, yeah. tonight is uh, Protege's uh, CD release album. I'm not sure the name of the album. Hey, do you know the name of Protege's album that's releasing tonight? Ancient Future. Ancient. Oh, it is Ancient Future. Ancient Future. Ancient Future. So the Ancient Future, no. What is that? Because Ancient has to do with the past. Right. Future has to do with the future. The future. So, right in between there, that's some beautiful words they will find to put together. Because he's creating the ancient future, you know, that like future that. that brings you what, what in the know, mm. makes you feel so ahead, you know what I mean? Wicked. Oh, All right. ancient That's future. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so heading out of Negril here, following the Nomads. We're just in the last strip, which is uh, mostly just monstrous hotels like Sandals and... Uh, these types of resorts, here's sandals right here, big monster entrances, mostly all-inclusives down hey, here, how's it going? very quiet. Oh, I was just, sorry about that. Mitch, <laughs> we're still driving back. Yeah. All right, we're here in Runaway Bay, just about 40 minutes past uh, Montego Bay on our way to Kingston. I think we've already been through St. Anne, can't barely remember. If not, we'll be turning in soon. I haven't done this drive too many times myself. I usually fly in either to Kingston when I'm going to Kingston or fly into Mo Bay if I'm going to Negril or the other side of the island. But, uh, ah well, this is more of a reality as we come here more and more for CRD and UCAN, getting more things done in the, in the business aspect. We need to have cars, we need to do driving, and it's not like we're really here for tourist trips. So, although, that'll be in the future too. Exciting times here in Jamaica. I'm telling you, it was amazing at the Stepping High Festival to have all those ganja plants fully budding on the stage. I don't even see that in Amsterdam at the Cannabis Cup. So. All right. Still driving, still heading to Kingston, still excited about the Protege CD release party today. That's Ancient Future. It's a dichotomous name. How Protégé makes the future ancient. Well, we're gonna learn tonight. And uh, we're just actually going on a detour to the highway. You can see a part of it up there. Uh, we're driving through a, a small little town. Very tight road, got some big trucks in the way. and We have not lost the nomads. Evie and Bird Eye are still in front of us, doing their thing. We got dabbed up in Negril before we left, but we haven't dabbed since, so uh, it'll be good to get back to back to Kingston and get the uh, D-nail going. We're low on dabs, but what we suspect we're gonna do for the next couple of days, rather than uh, not have dabs, is uh, get a nice steam chalice, and uh, probably we should have two or three of those over at our buddy's house anyway, and uh, have a nice uh, chalice session. I gotta admit, I got a really nice um, head buzz, head rocker, bell ringer, if you will, from hitting those vapor chalices last night. Obviously, you're not getting the concentrated hit. It's a much lighter, tasty, sort of fluid hit. 
But what you gotta do is, you gotta, right? So you're getting it going, you're getting it going, you're getting it going, and uh, eventually, once it finally gets going, you get these hits, but you get this light-headed, almost like you're gonna fall down, like you've been hyperventilating. So that's part of the, the vapor chalice experience. shit right here. You know? Oh yeah. So nice. Look at the tree. Monster. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, that's what I love about that wide angle lens, man. It gives you that little extra bit that you don't have to really pan over to get. Much wider frame. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> It's a nice highway. Finally on this. Highway. This is the Spanish Town Toll Highway, so we got to pay for this highway. A couple hundred J's up at the toll as we get closer into Spanish Town. This will whip us in now in probably under half an hour until we reach traffic, which maybe will be 15, 20 minutes, depending on the time that we're rolling. Look how beautiful the countryside is. It's absolutely beautiful. They're putting a highway right through the center of these mountains. It's pretty incredible. That semi is still like flying behind us, going like 100, 130 right now. Going 140 right now. 140 is in your blind spot. <laughs> Holy shit. You can't even see him through there. Dude, that's insane. 140 kilometers. That's what we're driving, look. That guy's in your blind show spot. Show the, the speedometer. <laughs> 140. That truck is behind us. Man, he was speeding up to pass. He's got his lights on now, coming after you. No, I see he's a his cop. Lights. Yeah, that's the cop. Who is he? Police officer. Cops drive semis here in Jamaica. Let's see if I can get him. He's got some kind of. <laughs> he's got his sirens on. Let's see if I can get him. <laughs> yep. We're having fun here in Jamaica, people. He's got his lights on. Yeah. That's some quality footage you get there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be editing that transition in for sure. <laughs> Bubble Man decided to pass our, our escort. It's yeah. pretty funny. There they, there they come. Here comes Bird Eye. see the like ladies with little kids give you dirty looks no you know it's quite something driving here is quite something Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> I thought it was gonna open up. <laughs> oh Jesus. That was awesome. Some of that footage would just be great. <laughs> this footage I usually just grab bare and short pieces of yeah. Just to show behind the scenes and shit. Buddies. We are get deeply in uh, shining up in the clouds, bro. It's a paradise ship right Grab your air hot air iron last night. The yep. Straightener. Of course, right when I go to do that, I got no treat. Might be cool looking. Yep. Look at it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that you're laughing about it like it's just so oh that was so funny you almost broke my left arm how many times have we almost run off the fucking road <laughs> imagine the mountain just comes into the car and breaks your arm i'm sorry man we've, we've gone off the road three times just three times it's not uh it's not a lot driving through jamaica is slightly traumatic it's not quite as traumatic as snowmobiling in the mountains but it's up there for sure Four hours of intense race car driving. Yeah. How Near death. Been, how long have we been doing this for? Um, four what time and a half hours a day. And then we you, leave at two? We left I'd at say early. Close to two, man. We left early. It was close to two. Two o'clock. So now it's 4.50. Yeah. It's a little later than that, I think. No, it's 5.50. 50. So, yeah. So that's yeah. four hours. Four hours. We're almost back. Four hours. We should be in Kingston here real soon. But what'll happen is we'll be driving for another half hour, and then we'll get into traffic when we finally get into Kingston, and that'll be another half hour, and we'll actually be back at seven o'clock, which is fine. Because it's just in time for the eight o'clock door open. Door opening at Pegasus. Protege and the Indignation Band, which, which really, really won't excited. start till nine. I'm hoping on getting an interview with Protege. I'm going to see if I can't uh, pull him aside for a few minutes and do a little interview, ask him about what's been going on since the eight-year affair, since his release party at the Edna Manley, uh, Edna Manley School of Music here in Kingston that I was uh, present for, and now this is ancient future. So it'll be it'll be nice to see the growth of the band over the last three years during the reggae revival. Kingston in the All background. Alright, so we're pulling into Kingston here. You guys can see uptown just above Kingston coming down. Blue Mountains in the background. Caribbean Sea. Yeah, this is good. We're at the magic hour here. As photographers know, the magic hour is right as the sun sets. <laughs> sun sets in Jamaica at 6.09 and it is 6.09. I did hit the side of the car on the mountain just now. I think it was the uh, tree. <laughs> it's been a crazy ride. But hey, you know what? This one's paved. They did a great job, actually. Yeah, relatively. Not too many potholes. Those are the real kind of stop you dead when you hit a pothole and pop your tire. Yeah, the flow is a lot better on this uh, route. Yeah, and that, we're not talking about the flow OG. We're just talking about the <laughs> flow of traffic. Yeah. We're almost back. Can't wait for this show. Stoked. Exile! Come on, stoked for this.
you're here for the music, so quick track to is Criminal. This is the first rhythm winter sent to me that started the whole project. I heard it and knew that alright, this youth has some serious production skills, so we can do some work together. The, the, this song I wrote right after but right away. I was thinking about Walter Rodney, you know, visions of Peter Tosh murder in um September 11, 1987, talking about Dotty Bookman in there and his you know revolution in Haiti talking about the fact that the band Walter Rodney from Jamaica does channeling all these energies you know going up you know against the real criminals what are um 